For my second intercultural interaction, I worked with Chris Topic, who I met in my first semester chemistry class, and we would go over homework problems together sometimes, but we didn't talk a lot. So I knew a little bit about his family. He is the uh, first generation American um, and the son of two parents who immigrated here from Iraq. Um, I initially planned to work with Carlo Dorve for all of my intercultural interactions, but he's been very busy lately, so I, I didn't want to impose um, because of this project. Uh, so I decided to work with Chris and learn about a culture which I knew less about. Um, I knew Chris's family was pretty traditional um, in their values and the way that the household was run. Um, so I thought this would be interesting. Even though he's American, he knows a lot about his parents' culture. And they still raise him by a lot of the same values as they would have um, a child in Iraq. Uh, so since our partner was supposed to host this interaction or kind of teach us um, this time, I asked Chris if he had any suggestions for something that could help me understand his culture better. And he didn't really, but he said something very important to his life was um, a closeness of family. So I suggested we look at photo albums, if he had any. And he did. Um, so before this interaction, I was a little nervous because I thought it could be awkward. I didn't know a lot about Iraqi culture at all. And um, we wouldn't have that much to do. We'd just be looking at pictures and talking um, for over an hour. Um, so I wasn't sure how that would go. But it was actually very relaxed as soon as we started looking at the pictures. Chris has a lot of stories about his family, how his dad has taught him to work on cars, um, how his parents have had a hard time um, without having a lot of education um, to make a solid foundation of money in the United States. Um, his dad recently got a job as a truck driver and now they're doing a little bit better. But one of Chris's greatest motivations in his life and in going to school to be a chemical engineer is so that he can get a good paying job and give back to his family um, and his parents who have worked for him. Uh, after the interaction, I kind of reflected on what I learned. Um, I thought it had gone more smoothly than I expected. And I also learned um, a lot about the traditional values of Chris's family. For example, his parents expect him to marry within their culture um, and someone of which they approve. And he thinks he might eventually branch out because he's having a hard time finding someone with such specific criteria um, in the United States. Um, but right now he is following his parents' wishes and trying to abide by those uh, that description of his future wife um, because uh, his family is so important to him. He doesn't want to lose any closeness or um, warmth between the family. Um, so that is definitely different from my parents. Um, my parents have raised me to make my own choices and they support me um, in pretty much anything I do, but um, I, and I realize that I kind of think of a more restrictive parenting style and a more um, traditional to a, a stricter culture um, to be worse than how I'm raised, but it's probably just because I, this is what I know, I, I've had parents who let me make my own decisions, and I don't think it's necessarily um, bad, I mean arranged marriages can work out. Um, and they might even be more convenient for certain reasons. Um, so it's difficult for me to accept that as something that's 
reasonable, but um, I I would need to to truly accept their culture. Um, and also some differences is that um, Chris's family still has members in the Middle East and some in dangerous areas, and that's just really difficult for me to imagine. Um, some of my family was in the Holocaust, but I realized that I'm kind of distanced from that since it was so long ago uh, relative to my life, and um, I don't know that much about those stories. So I realized I, I don't have experience with that kind of situation, and it would be very difficult. Um, his dad's brother is still in Iraq, and they're concerned about his safety. Chris also still refers to um, Iraq as their home country and um, visiting there as going back home, which he's never gotten to do because of the violence and danger there. Um, but I found it interesting that his family has such an influence on him that he still thinks of a place he's never visited as his true home. Um, even though he doesn't wish to move back there, um, he would very much like to visit someday. There are also uh, similarities though. I realized about myself that I gain respect for Chris and um, for people in general based on a value for family and um, caring about their parents, recognizing what they've done for them. Um, and I don't think this necessarily came from general American culture, but it's how I was raised. So I think um, family-specific situations can kind of blur the lines between different cultures, and um, a lot of values come from both culture-specific aspects as well as individual and family aspects. Um, so while I was a little concerned about this interaction, um, because we didn't have that much to do and I didn't know a lot about Iraqi culture, I realized there were still um, several things I could relate to. Um, and people are people. There are always differences, but um, it's not too hard to understand them.